What we did is we approached people who were here in Kobe during that time, uh, like uh, Fukuoka Sensei and uh, in my mat, Mosquero and Marella. So now that I had the opportunity. So I will tell you why, because that is where the problem of my research lies. So here you have a bonding This is the state promoter. This is the state promoter. You take, you take, you take share for all of us. So anyway, congratulations on your great achievement. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. My name is Muhammad Al Khalid. I am from Syria. I am in Sanson Says Lab. My topic is how to make learning English fun and interactive for children. This is the outline of my today's presentation. First, I want to talk briefly about the background. The way that English is being taught in schools is called Grammar Translation Method, GTM. GTM consists of memorizing a lot of grammar rules and vocabulary, then applying these grammar rules in exercises, and finally doing exams based on them. Schools are using this method because it's very easy for them to judge the students and to give them grades. But the problem is, after many years of using this method, many students are still not able to hold simple conversations in the language, although they are studying English from the primary school until graduation from high school in my country, Syria, for example. That's why I decided to do research on alternative ways to study English and to teach the children foreign languages. This is the problem tree. I focused in my research on two points. The first one, uh, English classes are not interactive uh, in Syria. There are many reasons behind that. One of it, uh, schools has to follow the curriculum from the government, especially the public schools. There are other reasons, for example, the schools are crowded. That's why it's difficult to, to do interactive classes. The other point which I worked on, the children don't have the motivation to study the language. This is another challenge. This is the thank you chart. First the problem and the solution. The problem as I mentioned, the classes are not interactive and the solution is a mobile application that include interactive methods in teaching English and uh, applying that through simple games to give the children at some attraction. The technologies which I used, first one is Java for the mobile application, Firebase for the online database, and FreeTTS, Sphin X4, to uh, uh, offline recording of the children's voices. The human resources which is required to apply this project, the content makers, uh, they might be linguists or English teachers. The other team is developers to develop the game, and these two teams have to work together. After searching about similar solutions to my proposed uh, solution, I found the closest one is Khan Academy Kids. Both this application and my solution have offline version and teach English through games. But uh, what I want to add in my uh, solution is uh, adding more interaction with other students, not uh, study alone. Also use interactive ways in teaching English. So to solve the issue of the lack of motivation, I used gamification, concept called gamification in my application. And to solve the issue of the uh, classes are not interactive, I used TPRS in teaching languages. And to solve the issue of internet instability in Syria, I made two games out of three, uh, being able to play them uh, offline. What is gamification? Gamification is the use of game elements and game design in non-game contexts. There are many game elements that if you apply some of them, you will add more attraction to your, the content which you are trying to view. 
For example, add, uh, giving badges to the children or levels or progress bar, time constraints, etc. What I applied in my application, a challenge between users and level up and uh, giving points to the uh, children and being able to use that points to give the children awards, either by the application or by their parents. Also giving time constraints to give some challenge because some children like ch challenges and others like uh, awards, uh, so it's different from child to child. TPRS stands for Teaching Proficiency Through Reading and Storytelling. This way in teaching foreign languages um, relies on the uh, teacher follow, uh, the teacher form a story. It has to be at least 80% of the words has to be non-words by the child. Then asking simple questions about the story and the teacher and the child has to answer simple answer. So instead of spending, spending many hours explaining in the child's own language, for example, in, in my case, Arabic language, uh, about English, they will listen to English and respond in the English from the first day. Here is other uh, concept which I used. Uh, it's by Stephen Krashen, who is linguist and professor in the University of Th Southern California. He claims that we acquire languages only when we understand what we hear and what we read. So spending many hours trying to improve your English by watching content that the majority of the content you don't understand, you will not improve. This is my application. It consists of three games. Uh, the first game is match the pictures. In this game, I try to teach the child uh, through games, the vocabulary which is necessary to the second game. So I tried not to dictate the vocabulary, so either repeat or write or memorize it. I tried to teach them through game. Uh, the second one is listen and answer. There is simple questions and the child will answer simple answer. Uh, the, all the words is non-words. So the child know them from the first game or from the previous levels. All the data will be uh, stored in the local database. So the child points and the child uh, uh, levels that it's open for them, etc. all of it uh, uh, in the local database. And when the internet is available, a copy from this data will be moved to the online database. The final game is compete with others. So it needs internet because you will search on the internet about any other uh, child on the, uh, connected to the internet, and they can compete between each other. This is the home page of my application. Uh, this is the first game uh, uh, from levels like numbers, teaching numbers, fruits, etc. This is the second game, also numbers and fruits. But to play the numbers here in the second game, you, has to, you have to play it in the first game. This is the third game, compete with others. Within time limits, the child who will get the more points will be the winner. Here's a short demo about uh, how the child will play it. So in this way, the child will listen to the uh, content in, his, uh, in English and combine them in his mind with the voice. Instead of dictating these words, I'm trying to teach them uh, through uh, a game. So also we have time limits. So this is from the elements from gamification. So we have one minute and 30 seconds within this time. If the child finish this temporary points, which is now uh, 12, will be added to the uh, total points, which is in, until now 42. Now the second game. This is apple. This is banana. So this is a simple uh, demo about how 
is this apple? So this is a simple question, and the child will answer either yes or no. If the answer is correct, uh, the, uh, he will get some points and will open next level for them. Now this is the uh, third game. In this game, the two uh, players, the two players are searching for on the internet. So after finding each other, one invited the other player to uh, a contest. So we have 13 seconds. After, uh, during this 13 seconds, the child who will get the more points will be the winner. Only listening to the voice uh, in English, like dog or uh, cat, or etc., and clicking on the correct, uh, correct photo. This is for example of animals. So after the time will finish, uh, the winner will be decided. During the time of the playing the game, you can see uh, the other player points. In this case, this one won and that one lose. The evaluation method. Because the target group is Syrian children, I did the uh, evaluation uh, with the Syrian children, of course, uh, from ages 6 to 14. Uh, the number of participants were uh, 21. And the answers is done either by the child, him or herself, or by their parents, if they are not able to answer. I ask many questions related to the games. So the uh, first one is the questionnaire. How did you find the game in general? Or uh, what, comparing between the normal way of studying and uh, studying during this application, which one was more attractive to, to the child or spend more hours? And now, uh, how is, was the level up? Did you were motivated to open the next level or it's not uh, so motivated? And the challenge, time-based. Did, uh, was it uh, challenging to you to, f to finish during the one minute and 30 seconds, or it, wasn't, it was not? And competition with other players, was it interesting or not? So I was uh, recording all of this information, and the award, which, w which was the, the, best, the best one from all of it, the award. So I, made, I asked the, the parents to give the child uh, award, either giving some money or something, after fit, getting 1,000 points. So it was uh, attracting the child to reach to that points and to get the, the award from their parents. At the same time, they were studying. Also, the evaluation of the uh, comprehensible input. So was the information uh, easy for the child or it was very difficult? Uh, all of the children said it's easy because I am already trying to teaching them from the first level. The second way of evaluation is automatic recording from the system because neither the child nor his or her parents don't know all the answers. So how many minutes did you spend on that game? Or, uh, or uh, by, per day, how many, uh, how many minutes you play the game? Uh, that's why I did the automatic recording in the system. Uh, every time the child enter the, the games or which game they enter, all this information is recorded from the system, help me to analyze and to know which game is better and which game was not interesting. This is an example of the record from the, uh, from the system. For example, that's one with the ID uh, Muhammad uh, HIS. Uh, play this game, game one, uh, animals. So the animals from the first one. Uh, which type of the version? It's the English version. There's English version and Arabic version, Japanese version. So during that time. So that, that helped me to, to know more about the, what attracts the children and what not. We have some challenges about this evaluation. For example, although yes, I did evaluate the using of the game elements and the TPRS, and the comprehensible input, but we still don't know whether this method, after spending two or three years, they will become able to do the conversations. So we need uh, long-term evaluation to know if it's really effective or not. Thank you for listening to the presentation.